Hey, life is difficult for the modern man. It's fucking hard, man. They're losing their hair at a younger age. Testosterone levels in these men are significantly lower. Younger men are nearly three times more likely to have fertility issues. And the main difference between us and the generation before us is our lifestyle choices, our stress levels. We need to bring back that previous greatness. And in my opinion, the secret is herbs. I believe all men need a herb stack. And that's a key way for us to get past some of of these issues. Let me tell you a story. Native tribes of Florida such as the Seminoles used saw palmetto for infertility and other Native American tribes believe that saw palmetto can support hair health especially men experiencing thinning hair. And today saw palmetto is one of the most popular herbs for hair loss. What does that tell you? History knew something that we don't today. Hence why they had different problems than we do. So it's my opinion that based on today's problems, we need historic secrets more than ever. And that's where this video comes in. This is part two to a previous video where we discussed the top four herbs that all men need. So if you're liking the series so far, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe. Join the community, we are here to up our game collectively. Men, if you have any of these symptoms, it could be a sign that you're one of those men who are experiencing lower testosterone than those of your age in previous generations. One, you have less libido, meaning you have decreased interest in intimacy, in connection, not just in that way, but meeting your friends, for example, just going out into the world and hunting. Number two, things aren't getting hard like they used to, or they aren't strong like they used to. And if you have erectile issues, there's a 33% chance this is due to low testosterone. And also, if you have decreased morning wood, morning erections, this could be a sign of lower testosterone. And the last key sign that I'll mention is a reduced confidence low self-esteem. Guys, testosterone plays a big part in a lot of how we feel about ourselves, how we show up into the world. So pay attention to the body's changes. A lot of the issues that we are facing from hair loss to infertility issues or high stress can be linked to each other. So if we increase our foundation, we can increase everything else. For example, low testosterone might result in a decreased production of sperm, and this can contribute to infertility. So without further ado guys, let's get onto these four herbs. The first herb that should be in every man's herb stack is Shilajit. Shilajit has been mentioned in many historic books, one of which dates back to around 3000 years ago. Men have been using this for a while. Today it's quite popular. I get regular adverts on Instagram, social media about Shilajit. Firstly, Shilajit contains fulvic acid and humic acid, and these are very important for transporting minerals and nutrients into cells. Essentially, they help with the bioavailability of nutrients and from a cellular level, proper cell function is due to better nutrient delivery and it's crucial for hormonal balance. And this proper delivery of nutrients or minerals can impact two key things that we are facing and that is testosterone as well as hair growth. A three month study found that men who took 500 milligrams of vulvic acid a day had significantly higher testosterone compared to a placebo group. And secondly, Syllogit is rich in zinc and zinc has a direct correlation with levels of testosterone production. Men who receive just 30 milligrams of zinc per day showed an increased level of free testosterone in their body. And free testosterone is your bioavailable testosterone. So this is powerful, is what your body can use. All of this plus its antioxidant benefits explains why studies show that people who take Shilajit for 90 days increase their testosterone, their free testosterone, their DHEA, significantly when compared to a placebo group. For some men, the reason why they're losing their hair is blood flow, it's nutrients like zinc selenium and iron deficiencies and there might be a case that for some of you guys if this is the reason your hair loss is perfectly preventable and the last issue that men are dealing with is infertility and Sergit has been shown in studies to help increase sperm mobility and sperm count which can help with infertility my only concern now is that i'm unsure that most of the brands we use today can be trusted and the popular brand that i've used i've noticed some changes in their consistency over time i'm not saying this is a bad thing because it might be positive improvements but i don't know what that really means if you want the brand that i use click in the description and use my discount code and get yourself one the second herb i believe all men should own is stinging nettle now Many of you guys won't expect this one, but hear me out because yo, this herb is powerful. I've got a whole video on the benefits of stinging nettle if you click the top right of your screen. And 
Stinging nettle is packed with vitamin C, with vitamin K and minerals such as iron, potassium, which are beneficial to the immune system. Generally, as men, we can't afford to take no days off. We need to be active consistently. And that's one of the reasons why we need stinging nettle in our cabinet. In other respects, it's powerful. It's been shown to help increase free testosterone levels within the body. And this is the testosterone that you can actually utilize, which is helpful for your muscle growth, helpful for how you feel about yourself. So this is key. Also, it can increase blood circulation, which is needed for hair health as well as erectile health. Did you know that nettle through history has been used to treat and prevent hair loss? And modern science tells us why. Because it contains compounds believed to inhibit DHT. And this is the hormone that's mainly linked to hair loss. This is dehydrotestosterone. So this herb can help prevent this hormone and thus help with your hair thinning and potentially promote hair growth. And it's said it does this without altering testosterone holistically, so your testosterone production, which is positive. So this herb all in all potentially can help with a lot of the issues that men are facing. It's also calming, so it can help reduce stress and help relax you, especially if you're using the seeds which have adaptogenic properties. But it's worth noting that one study on mice found that it reduced male fertility. There hasn't been studies on humans from what I can see, but what we do know from stinging nettle is that it can help with sperm mobility and reducing the abnormal and dead sperm cell count within your testicles so this might be positive for fertility generally stinging nettle is powerful and it's very inexpensive most of you guys even have this in your park if you're brave enough you can go and forage some the third herb all men should have in their cabinet is tonka ali so this might be a bit controversial as even for me personally i was using this herb regularly feeling all the great benefits but i had to stop because i was getting a lot of acne around here and here are some pictures here's the before and here's the after and at one point it got very bad very very bad consistently above my face repeated in the same place or even sometimes a spot next to another spot joining like it's dragon ball z but because i had issues it doesn't mean you will too life is all about experimentation because before i stopped i had great benefits and i've been using this for years and years it's great for testosterone, for energy, for reducing age-related issues in men, for promoting libido, for helping with sperm mobility, muscle growth, and it can combat infertility. It's great for a lot of the issues that we are facing. Some men who took this herb saw a 90% increase in their testosterone levels, so it is powerful for testosterone. Just be mindful with it, take it as and when needed as opposed to treating it like a multivitamin, especially because of the testosterone benefits. If your hair loss is due to THT, then this is something you might want to balance out with a DHT blocker like Sorpimento. The fourth herb was definitely hard to choose and I'm so far speaking about safe herbs, that's what I call them, less controversial herbs and less risky herbs and I deem them to be something all men can use without really thinking about it. And as we go into part three, I'll start to talk about less common herbs and diving a bit deeper than we've ever dove before. So the fourth herb I've settled on is Panax Ginseng. And in my opinion, it's powerful for immune health, it's powerful for stress, for brain health, for testosterone, for hair growth, because you can have this as an oil and apply it topically, which is beneficial. So all in all, I believe these herbs are key. There you have it for part two. If you want a part three because you're loving the series so far, comment down, let's go. Put that shit in capital letters and part three will be done for you. We will dive more into more specialized herbs, more less common herbs, things that really will positively impact you. Before you go guys, click on my face to get my herb course, which has a lot of keys and insights on how you can use herbs to improve the body. And before you go, check out this video on the benefits of Panax Ginseng. Let's go guys, see you soon, peace.